so arrogant. <laughs> so arrogant. I just did it again because I was itching my butt and I said this last time. <laughs> what up? What up, YouTube? It's your favorite couple back with a fun video in store. Where did that come from? We are doing a Bali haul. That was really good. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I have Alec here with me today. My husband is still new. I think it's still sinking in for me. We just got back from our honeymoon in Bali and we are still settling in. Behind the camera is a bunch of wedding mess and stuff that we have not unpacked yet or thrown away. Oh, very happy about that. As of now, we're ready to pick through the things that we got from Bali while we were there for our honeymoon and I'm excited to show you guys. The stores that I do mention, I'm gonna to try to find links to link below so you guys can check out the brands that we shopped. And yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing that we got together, we had a driver who was also giving us a kind of mini tour in Ubud, and he was telling us about when tourists visit temples, they are required to cover up their bottom half of their body, so typically you'll want to use a sarong. The temple that we went to actually had them for us to borrow to use for the time of touring, but we also wanted to buy our own. So our driver, Eddie, took us to this place where they make and hand weave these sarong wraps. We were able to see the process of making these sarongs from the weaving to the painting. They had two different types. They had cotton and silk compared to the other ones you'll find at those markets you see down the streets. These were much better quality. This is the one I got. Uh, bamboo uh, trees on it. And this was the weaved version. This is the weaved, yeah. And so. it's cotton. The cool thing and the beauty about the weave is that this is the front, right? Well, there is no front. That's the thing, that's the cool thing about it. Is yeah. You can't, they're each side. The front looks exactly like the back. Yeah. Because it's weaved. Mine is the painted version. This is gonna last you a really long time. And as you can see, it's not the same on the back, but it's still much better than stamped. These, we wore these a couple times when we went to the beach and we we're planning on putting them up as decoration somewhere around the house. When we were in Seminyak, this is kind of random, but I picked up a couple of essential oils. For some reason, I just like stood out to me in this natural, organic, kind of similar to like the body shop or Lush or something like that. Being outside a lot in the city was really hard on my head. And so I was getting a lot of mini headaches. So visit Bali. <laughs> So when I saw this essential oil blend, it's called Headache Help. Let me do this. It's touch screen. There we go. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, you can focus on it. Okay, that's cool. Headache Help. The way that I have like learned how to use this is you just take some on your fingers and put them around your temples. It opens up like your nasal cavity and makes your head just feel less compressed. Compressed. There we go. Thank you. Surfing is pretty big in Bali. And so they have stores like Quicksilver, Hurley, Rip Curl, Billabong. I'm a big fan of Hurley and they had stuff that I hadn't seen in the States. One thing that I bought from Hurley was this hat. It uh, doesn't have any structure to it. It's unstructured, I think that's the term. It's got this cool little leather patch with a mermaid and it's light, breathable. I really like it. I love Hurley's destination tees. It's so cool. Yeah. I kind of want to collect them when we visit is, other countries. That's a cool idea. Bali. 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 My Bali hurts. Next up. We'll do the Bali bag and then you'll do your wallet. Okay. Your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped by this store and they were selling these. And I was looking at them to just compare with what I had already. And the guy was mentioning how this is real cow leather and this is actually made by grass and not rattan. It's just better for the bag itself. Because it came from an actual like establishment, I feel like it was just much better quality and they took more pride in their work. And this one actually is real leather. So I think it's so cute. I've wanted one of these bags for so long, but I also wanted to wait until we actually got to Bali. I got this one for 240 rupiah and that equates to about $17.50. I might do a video on how to style this bag. I am very, very very happy and delighted to have this. Next up, we went to a men's boutique store called Alfie. I bought a bollet. You stole my joke. 
for a while I had a uh, just a single, it didn't fold at all, but you know, married now, uh, graduated, so I'm kind of more of an adult, so you know, I felt t it was time to get a an adult wallet. We went to like two or three different leather leather stores. And the store smelled like leather, but none of the products smelled like leather. Like if you hold it up to your nose, you know leather when you smell it. And you know that you smell leather when you walk into the store, but the products were not. If you ask them, hey, is this real leather? Of course they're gonna tell you yes, because they want you to buy their product, but it's very clearly not. They mm -hmm. had to have had leather air fresheners or okay, something. Okay, I, I don't think everything in the store wasn't leather. I think there were just select products that were not leather. I think it was all fake. But, and I really like the leather color. Much like, more of a caramel orange. Mm-hmm, it's a br on the brighter side. Came uh, with some money too. Yeah, it came with rupiah as well. I, did never exchange this rupee yet. <laughs> I really like that wallet. It's very natural and it's gonna wear really well, I think. If you watched my vlog, you already know what I'm about to talk about it is this amazingly cute boutique called Mau Mau. It was a very small boutique. There was really only one of each like model of shirt or piece of clothing. And also it was one size fits all. It's such a relaxed, loose fitting concept. It is designed to fit multiple body types. And I think the simplicity of that is just amazing. This is like a very light cream colored linen cotton blend top. And I just think it's, it's perfect for every day. I also got two other tops. This one is a white collar top and it has short sleeves, but they're a little bit longer than your typical short sleeves. He actually picked this one out for me and I tried it on. He was like, this looks like you. The unique thing about this shirt that he pointed out was it has these emerald jade colored buttons. I think this one is 100% linen and it has the frayed raw edge. It's very cute. And then lastly, I got something that's a little bit different. I think this can serve as either like a tunic or maybe a dress if you wore like shorts under. It's basically this super long shirt that has some buttons on the side. From the buttons down, it opens up like a, like a slit on both sides. So I can wear jeans or leggings or maybe some frayed shorts under and really dress it up or dress it down just like pretty much all three of these things, which is what I loved about that place. So that's what I got from Mau Mau. Now this store is all women's except for their watches. The watches they had were created by Lima, L-I-M-A, and the watches were, I would say, unisexual. Unisex. Unisex. Unisexual. <laughs> and I really liked these. I really liked the watches they had. They were, um, you know, genuine cow leather. The casing was made from ebony wood. What I really liked about the face is how simple it looks. Mm -hmm. It's just got a white face and no numbers except for a five, a gold five right there. Mm -hmm. um, and also there's a gold rim on in the inside, right? Yeah, there's a gold rim that follows it. I love see, it. Followed by a black rim. Another plus, with as skinny as my wrists are, I don't have to even poke a new hole in it. <laughs> Fun fact, we have the same size wrist. Show me your wrist, honey. It's the same. If you don't have a high metabolism, you should get one. It's great. That's not gonna be well received. <laughs> I think it goes really well with his ring as well. Show them that bling. I was very close to getting a matching one, but I'm just not a watch person. I also got a, myself a linen shirt. The brand is called Giordano, um, but it's got this fake- Mock collar. Mock collar, mock collar. I've been wanting a good linen shirt for a while. I'm very lightweight and breathable. The cool thing about shirts in Bali, they make a lot of slim fit clothing. It's good for like a date church or the beach or Bali or any day anytime I wear this I'll pretty much be matching Mara because that's all over there she wears this color <laughs> yeah I actually told him uh, to wear this shirt for the video but he didn't want to so. I wanted to rip Bali it's a good shirt it's a good shirt I think both of us generally just love shopping and we actually shop together a lot. So I think this was a natural thing for us to do on our honeymoon. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what we got from Bali. We balled out a little bit, but also let me know if you want to see more of Alec on my channel because he is pretty natural in front of the camera and I think he enjoys talking to you guys. All right. I'm going to go clean my butt.